Hey, this is Deepak here from digitaldeepak.com and in this video, we are going to have a look at Thinkific. Thinkific is a platform where you can host your learning management system. And previously, we had discussed another learning management system called Teachable. And Teachable is what I use for my business. And you can see that uh, if you go to learn.digitaldeepak.com, the entire platform is hosted on Teachable. So here uh, it will say that it is uh, powered by Teachable uh, unless it is the top tier business plan. But otherwise uh, I like Teachable a lot and uh, you can uh, have a lot of features inside the admin area, upload uh, your courses, uh, enroll students, issue certificates and things like that. So a good competitor and an alternative is Thinkific and right now uh, I am not using Thinkific for my business however my friend Gopal is so I asked Gopal to go ahead and give me login to his Thinkific account and uh, here we are inside the Thinkific login so Thinkific has done a lot of design improvements uh, over time and now it looks even better than Teachable so here you can see there are different tabs manage learning content if you go into the courses section, you will be able to see the different courses uh, that has been created. So let's say for our Facebook funnel online masterclass is one such course. So here is where you go ahead and create the course. You go ahead and create the curriculum. You add different lessons. So let's say this is one lesson which is beginning with clarity. So you put the title here, you put the video file here and you can put the description and then you can click on uh, preview course as a student to see how it is going to look for your students so this is how it's going to look for your students and uh, here you can see there are uh, different modules so if i go into this particular module then there are different videos inside this module and as you complete the videos it will also show you the percentage complete so if i click on complete and continue so you can see that it says that two percent of the course is complete so you can also go ahead and import students uh, you can uh, go ahead and change the settings so here you can see uh, course card details which shows up on the platform so this is how the course looks course player appearance is something you can go ahead and change you can completely customize the design then you have page builder then you have something called drip where you can unlock the lessons over time you can go and edit the pricing you can uh, configure what happens after the purchase and uh, if you are building it you can go ahead and publish it so here you can see there are uh, categories instructors video library and you can go ahead and change the design if you want you can go ahead and change the branding elements if you want so here you can see the logo the landing page banner and the entire uh, brand theme is something that can be changed here you can also go ahead and uh, create coupons for your courses so if you want to create a new coupon you just go ahead and click on new coupon and uh, here you can see what is the price and what is the amount of and what is the coupon name so this is something you have it in teachable as well and uh, support your students so you can create uh, groups for your students you can go ahead and check what are the users who have been registered so far so you can see there are 1889 students uh, registered on this platform so far you can create quiz and surveys assignments uh, reviews discussions communities so all this is available and then you have settings for the entire uh, learning management system so site learning content orders and accounts you can put analytics as well so if you want to go ahead and track how many people are visiting the inside pages you can put analytics code here and then obviously you have the account settings where you see the plan details account details and uh, other things so let's go and have a look at the pricing so here you can see that uh, there is uh, no transaction fee on Thinkific and it can hold unlimited students in each and every plan. The basic plan starts with $49 a month and then you have $99 a month and then you have $499 uh, a month. So right now uh, you can see currently on monthly business plan. So Gopal is on the business plan and here you can see there are uh, different uh, plans uh, all the way up to thousand dollars per month so this thousand uh, dollars per month thing uh, gives you like a complete branded free uh, experience for your hosting so it 
will not look like it is hosted on Thinkific. You can host it on your own platform. But even otherwise, uh, you can go ahead and configure your own uh, subdomain and then point it to Thinkific. So that's how it works. Go and check it out. And if you are launching an online course and if you want an online learning management system where you can put all the courses, then I would recommend you check out Thinkific. And below this video, I will also give the link to the other uh, alternative that I have uh, already spoken about, which is Teachable. And I have created a video review about Teachable as well. And my learning management system, learn.digitaldeepak.com is hosted on Teachable. So that's about it for this video. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.